What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to be going through how to use some waterline passes inside Mastercam uh, using the Haas Automation VF5. Uh, this actually is for a job that I'm running through right, right now. This isn't just for fun. Uh, so you will see how I'm actually using um, high speed servicing in a real work environment. Um, this is a kind of a one-off job, so I mean, this isn't probably gonna be the most efficient way to do things. I'm not gonna optimize things a ton because I only need to do it once. Um, that being said, you'll get a chance to see you know, how things are going that way, okay? Let's go take a look. Um, we are going to be roughing out first this pocket here with a half inch end melt. So you can see our roughing pocket parameters here. There we go, so it's gonna go down uh, 3 sixteenths. Stepping over, uh, it's just to clear all that material away and leave a nice finish. So I'll turn that toolpath back off. Next, I'm going to be uh, roughing out these pockets using high-speed area roughing. Uh, I really like this one. I like it kind of better than Opti rough if I'm, you know, trying to do something relatively quickly. Um, you can see it's going to step down to 50,000 step downs. That's just going to make sure it has uh, some nice little cusps there for it to mill. It's not leaving too much, not taking too much away. One thing to note with this is when you're in here. Uh, linking parameters, no, sorry, it's a cut parameter tool, tool. So the feed rate is how fast it's feeding around, the plunge rate is how far it feeds, how fast it feeds down. The important thing to remember when you're doing this is this has a ramp entry, so it's gonna ramp down. I always thought it would use the feed rate, turns out it uses the plunge rate. So if you want it to ramp down, you know, where it's feeding down, 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 make sure you have the plunge rate, whatever you want your feed rate during that plunge to be. I like it at the same because it's only taking 50 thou passes. I believe the entry is uh, uh, 30 thou step downs or 50 thou step downs, so you know it's not really that much. Um, so that's okay. And we can see here I'm doing the rest of it with a waterline toolpath. So hold on, let me turn this off here. Uh, you turn off, you turn back on. So what this is do? Well, you know, nope, that's 316s. This one. There we go. So what this is doing is it's gonna start, let me turn off that 3 16 It's gonna start at the corner, and you can see it's not coming up until it's down at the bottom. So it's gonna go down, it keeps stepping down in 2,000 uh, increments or 1,000 increments, I can't remember which I have it on, until it hits the bottom, comes up, rapids, and goes to the next. And you can see this is gonna do quite a few of these. Um, yeah, so let's go take a look how this is gonna run in the machine. I am going to have to drip feed this because as you can see, this is a, a fairly large program. But I think it's all done. Okay.
there you have it guys. That's how we're gonna use waterline passes using Mastercam inside the Haas Automation VF5. Um, this is a one-off, like I said, so this isn't the most efficient way to do it. I would probably buy a form cutter with that profile, uh, like a custom cutter, custom ground cutter, in order to do it if we were doing a lot of them. Um, this is just a good way to get the job done in this case. Really pleased with the way it came out. Finish looks great. Um, I already know my customer's really happy with it because I sent him a sample of how it's gonna look. So, really pleased with the way it's coming out. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me directly. Leave a comment below, whatever you wanna do that way. Make sure you like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos though, okay? Thank you very much for hanging out with me, guys. You take care.